Speaker, please. My name is Yoshida. I would like to explain the consolidated the financial results for uh, the uh, Q3 of uh, fiscal year ending in March 2023. Consolidated uh, net sales for the third quarter was up 22% uh, year on year and up 12.5% uh, uh, quarter on quarter uh, to total uh, 371,424,000,000 yen. Operating income was up 2.3% year on year and up 0.1% quarter on quarter to total 26,432,000,000 yen. Profit for the period um, attributable to the owners of the parent that uh, was down 28.5 percent year on year and down 34.5 percent quarter on quarter uh, to total 13 billion 148 million yen. We estimate the foreign currency translations. Uh, and uh, we uh, recorded uh, the um, record high uh, sales in terms of the quarterly result. Uh, we estimated. Uh, we estimate that uh, a foreign currency translation have a quarter on quarter impact of uh, plus 15.3 billion yen in net sales and plus uh, 3.5 billion yen in operating income. Year on year impact of uh, plus 57.2 billion yen in net sales and plus 7.7 .7 billion yen in operating income. Next slide, uh, please. This chart shows quarterly a trend in net sales, operating income, and operating margin. The operating margin for the third quarter was 7.1%, down 1.4 percentage point year on year, and down 0.9 percentage point quarter on quarter. Uh, there was a negative impact on operating income um, from a more than expected the fluctuations uh, by exchange rate as we had uh, uh, forex uh, forward uh, contracts. Our estimation of the foreign exchange effects are shown in the boxes for your reference as we did in the first and second quarters. The operating income uh, figure uh, for the third quarter uh, includes a foreign exchange gain of 1.9 billion yen and 2.9 billion yen loss on the FX uh, forward uh, contract. Excluding the impact from uh, the forex uh, forward uh, contract, uh, operating income would have been 29.3 billion yen. Next slide, uh, please. Uh, here shows the difference uh, between the forecast as of November and actual results uh, for net sales and operating income by business segment uh, for the third quarter. Net sales for the machine, the components, the business were generally on track with the forecast uh, thanks to soaring sales in the aircraft uh, market, although bearing sales were lower than expected. The electronic devices and components of business experienced the lower than expected sales due mainly to the slowdown in HDD motor sales. The Mitsumi business enjoyed higher than projection projected sales, mainly for mechanical components. Yushin sales were higher than projected, mainly for automobile applications. Operating income for the machine the components of business was slower than expected due to a slight decline in profitability resulting from production adjustments for bearing. The electronic device and components of business, so operating income falls slightly below our forecast due to a drop in sales. Operating income for Mitsumi business was almost on the par with our forecast. Yushin's operating income was marginally lower than our forecast. Next slide, uh, please. This slide uh, shows the quarterly uh, trend of the machine the components uh, business. The left uh, graph uh, indicates uh, quarterly net sales uh, trend, and the uh, uh, right uh, uh, charts uh, quarterly operating income trends, uh, along with a line chart for operating margins. The third quarter net sales uh, decreased 1.6 percent uh, quarter on quarter to total 50.5 billion yen. Sales of uh, ball, be ball bearings. Uh, decreased 4.1 percent quarter on quarter to total 37.6 billion yen. The monthly external shipment volume was down 10.4 percent quarter on quarter for an average of 225 million units. This was due to slowdown in the market, mainly for data centers. Sales of road and fasteners are totaling 9.6 billion yen were up 16.5 percent over the previous quarter. Sales increased with the recovery of aircraft production. Sales of pivot assemblies decreased 14.3 percent quarter on quarter to total 
3.3 billion yen. Operating income for the quarter totaled 11.5 billion yen, and the operating margin was 22.9 percent. On a quarter-on-quarter basis, operating income decreased 7.8 percent, while the operating margin dropped 1.5 percentage points. Looking at the results by product, we see that the operating income for ball bearings and pivot assemblies decreased quarter-on-quarter, while operating income for road ends and fasteners was up compared with last quarter. Next slide, please. Let's look at the electronic device and components segment. Net sales decreased 7.5 percent quarter-on-quarter to total 90.7 billion yen. Looking at the results by product, we see that the sales of motors decreased 8.3 percent quarter-on-quarter to reach 65.4 billion yen. This was primarily due to a decrease in demand for HDD motor sales of electronic devices were down 7.8 percent from the previous quarter to total 14.3 billion yen. This is due to decline, a decline the sales of LED backlight models used by our key customers. The sales sensing devices totaling uh, totaling 9.9 billion yen were down 2.4 percent from the previous quarter. Operating income came to 2 billion yen and the operating margin was 2.2% uh, uh, on a quarter on a quarter basis operating income decreased 37.8% while the operating margin dropped 1.1 percentage points the results uh, include a loss of 1.4 billion yen due to uh, the special factor of uh, foreign exchange effects noted uh, earlier next page please this is the performance for the Mitsumi business segment we have included Minibir Connect, formerly Sumiko Tech, in the scope of consolidation since November 1st, 2022. Net sales increased 33% quarter on quarter at 182.7 billion yen. This was due to increased revenues accompanied by seasonality of optical devices and mechanical components and others. Operating income totaled 17.3 billion yen, while the operating margin was 9.5 percent. Quarter-on-quarter, operating income increased 10.7 percent, and operating margin dropped by 1.9 percentage points. Note that this figure includes 1.7 billion yen of negative goodwill of Minibir Connect, formerly Sumiko Tech. Excluding this, operating income would be 15.6 billion yen, stable quarter-on-quarter, -quarter, and operating margin 8.6% or down 2.8 percentage points. This was primarily due to the changes in product mix. Next slide. A look at the Yushin business segment. Net sales were up 7.9% quarter-on-quarter at 46.3 billion yen. This is due to the recovery of production by car manufacturers gradually, although the situation varied from region to region and customer to customer. Operating income totaled 0.3 billion and the operating margin 0.6%. Quarter-on-quarter, operating income fell 59.7%. Operating margin dropped 0.9 percentage points. Next slide. The bar graph shows the trends in profit attributable to owners of the parent, and the line graph chart shows changes in the profit for the period per share. The profit for the period was 13.1 billion yen. Earnings per share was 31.9 yen. Next slide. The quarterly inventory trend. At the end of Q3, inventory totaled 275.9 billion yen, an increase of 3.1 billion yen over three months ago. Next slide. The bar chart shows trends in net interest bearing debt, which is total interest bearing debt minus cash and cash equivalents. The line chart represents free cash flows. At the end of Q3, net interest bearing debt totaled 211.8 billion, up 124.9 billion from the end of the previous fiscal year. Next slide. We have made revisions to the full year forecast. Net sales were revised upward from 1,250 billion yen to 1,300 1, billion yen, and operating income was revised downward from 115 billion yen to 100 billion yen. The operating income forecast includes one time revenues such as negative goodwill associated with MA and restructuring costs. 
Net sales, operating income, and profit for the period are all expected to reach record highs in the current fiscal year. The exchange rate is assumed to be 125 yen to the U.S. dollar. Next slide. This is the forecast by business segment. Sales and profits uh, from Minivia Access Solutions, formerly Honda Lock, in the scope of consolidation since January 27th of this year, are included in the Yushin business segment for the second half of this fiscal year. This concludes my presentation.